2015 G7 Summit here at Schloss Elmau in Bavaria is shaping up to be a summit of substantial success uh, and could even turn out to be a summit of significant or even strong success as it uh, starts to deliver on its big issues of Ukraine, Islamic State, health, climate change, Africa, and the many other issues it will address. On Ukraine, uh, the challenge for the G7 is to send a clear message uh, to Vladimir Putin uh, that his aggression and annexation in Ukraine, which continues to this day, uh, will not stand. And to do that, uh, G7 leaders uh, must, and I think will, send a clear message that they will sustain their existing sanctions, strengthen them, uh, provide uh, support to members of the European Union who are harmed by those sanctions, uh, provide more financial support to Ukraine, including debt relief as necessary, and uh, I think send a signal that they will provide even more security and uh, military support to Ukraine than they have to date, to, just to make sure that Mr. Putin understands that he's got to stop and go into reverse. On Islamic State, uh, a number of things. Stop the foreign fighters, close down the new forms of terrorist um, finance, uh, but also encourage more G7 members to engage in offensive military operations uh, for uh, the endorsement uh, that the G7 will give for their use of military force against Islamic State, uh, not only in Iraq, uh, but in Syria, uh, where hitherto uh, only the United States and Canadian Armed Forces are engaged. On climate change, the challenge is to say boldly that all major emitters must control their carbon and not just uh, the G7 ones if we're going to solve the problem. And only then uh, will the G7 assist in raising the climate finance from public and private sources to invest in the genuine efforts of the Chinas, uh, the Indias, the other emerging uh, and developing economies uh, for them to stop their carbon pollution uh, so the problem can be solved. On health, a pretty uh, wide uh, agenda. What is to take stock of the uh, lessons from the recent uh, Ebola pandemic? Make sure that the uh, World Health Organization has the resources uh, and the new facilities to react uh, and prevent uh, in a much better way when the next outbreak occurs. Uh, perhaps create um, a team of white helmets, medical uh, rapid reaction force to go in right away, as well as dealing with a long list of neglected tropical uh, diseases, uh, dementia, big problem in the aging societies, and uh, to combat uh, antimicrobial uh, resistance, uh, which could um, mean we win those drug wars uh, so that the antibiotics we've counted on but no longer can will be replaced by a new generation to combat uh, a broad range of infectious diseases. And then on the last day, uh, G7 leaders meet with their outreach partners uh, from Africa uh, and uh, Iraq and a broad agenda uh, to combating terrorism again. Uh, stopping the migrants uh, flowing across the Mediterranean, hitting Europe's shores, uh, can they be stopped at source? Um, the dialogue with the visiting Tunisian leader uh, will go. Uh, Nigeria, a great global growth engine, as is much of Africa now. So how can we make uh, Africa uh, a genuine global growth and economic opportunity through a new partnership of equals before Africa and the G7. So there's a lot to do in the next two days, uh, but certainly Angela Merkel, 
Uh, the veteran um, leader here has hosted a successful summit once before, uh, so I think she's able, willing, and smart enough to bring out the best uh, energy seven colleagues to get these big jobs done.